Hey guys, Richard Rich Rebuilds here and we're back with our off-grid camper van for our assistant Linda. As a quick recap, we have an assistant that lives in a $500 RV that she got off Facebook Marketplace and the van looks like a $500 RV off Facebook Marketplace. So after we made a video roasting her for 30 minutes, all of the white knights complained that she lives in Great Depression living conditions and they would take much better care of her. Not sure what that means, but I figured we should take care of our own. So we bought her a van from the auto auction website iaai.com and started the build in the first episode but there was one thing i just wanted to talk about really quick and that was the partition that was removed and of course a lot of people chimed in because they couldn't believe we removed the piece of wood in a van they don't own and the issue was stealth camping it means you can live somewhere without being detected so basically if you see a van parked somewhere you'd have no idea someone lives in it because it's just a vehicle casually sitting there in a parking lot they wanted us to leave this giant partition up so one can simply slide this door closed so nobody outside the van can tell you live in it now here is a public service announcement listen carefully if you see a white van that doesn't have any logos on it like fedex or some plumbing company or flower delivery vehicle or even something stating there's free candy at the side of it and it's parked somewhere after closing time guess what Someone lives in it. If you see a Sprinter van with solar panels on top of it and a fan vent, someone lives in it. If you see a Sprinter van literally anywhere doing anything, someone lives in it. It's 2021 and there's no such thing as stealth camping in a 170 wheelbase van with solar on top. Newsflash, people know you live in that van. You aren't fooling anyone. If you don't believe me, go on YouTube right now. Just go on YouTube type in sprinter van in the youtube search you will not see any reviews on that van you will only see videos on how people live in the van what does that tell you 90 percent of people throw the partition into the trash anyways and they put up a curtain for privacy because they realize there is no privacy because the top half of their vans are usually 80% glass anyways. So because Lena's about that van life, I'm going to encourage her to sleep in places like a car dealership or a 24-hour store. I'll give her a pair of work boots to hang from the front glass so people think of construction workers inside. And she can try hospital parking lots, rest areas, a cracker barrel, or highway welcome centers. Today we would install a fan to let the van breathe and add sound deadening and do the subfloor, but first and foremost, we have to fix the rust that I've been trying to ignore. Let's go! I think it's mostly just here. That's not that bad. I, I, I'm curious to pull the wheel off to see what's like on the other side. Now we're going to do some shopping at a very well-known hardware store. I measured the thickness of the steel the van's made of, and we're going to use the same thickness of steel sheets and cut them down to the size we need to weld them into the van. Now instead of new floor stamping from Mercedes for $1,500, we're going to fix this all for 8 bucks. Where's that going to go? Show me where that piece is going to go. Let, let's go. Show me on the doll where that's going to hurt me. Show me. <laughs> So if you look here, there may actually Whoa. be a hole in the floor. Wow, this wasn't here before. So look at that. I, I've made a piece, it probably doesn't fit exact. I probably have to grind it a little bit. Yep. I'm also gonna have to form it to fit the bends in the floor here. Mm -hmm. But this is our little patch panel to fill this in. Okay, wow, I like it. Because Mercedes is gonna charge us what, like $2,000 for this? So raw sheet metal. Love it. Original plan was to actually go out and buy a car hood. I would cut the car hood and we would do that, but this is much easier. We just went to the hardware store. Yeah, just got, got a that sheet of metal. Instead. Makes way more sense. Exactly. A nice shove. Look at that, Brian. Oh just my gosh. Cleaning the burn. That looks damn good. That's an impressive piece. A little higher in a couple of areas, but luckily it's sheet metal and it's thin and I can bend it. Yeah. So I think this will work as is. That looks damn good, man. Awesome. All my little spot welds here mm -hmm. and put that in just to kind of get the piece situated. And then I'll do my forming to get all the seams to line up. Oh, I like this. I like 
like this angle right here. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Attention nice. to detail. Attention to detail, man. Try not to be too angled about it. Oh, I kind of need to turn the welder on. Oh, yeah. I kind of wonder what you're doing. <laughs> I was like, wow, how far will he get? All right. Ready. Contact. <laughs> How's the penetration? Oh, it's getting penetration, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Asking the right question. So you can see where it burned through, where all the welding wire's poking out, but no big hey, deal. It's solid and it's, it, it's sealed. It's yeah. watertight, which is really what matters. <laughs> At the end of the day, the water's not coming through. For now. Well, the nice thing is it's supportive, because that is a support for the body. Right, so. yeah, because it's resting on that. Which I actually plug welded right to that. To the frame rail? Yeah. Nice. This is what happens if you want to buy a used van with some miles. You're not really sure what's going down. Here we are. Don't skip this step. Ever. Rust. <laughs> like, rust. Rust. Real. Rust. It's real. Do not skip this step. All right, Brian. Brian, I just want to let you know that you have managed to save us from going to literally Germany. <laughs> Flying out to Germany. With the van. With the van. We have to fly them out to Germany and get that part because that part is not available. We yeah. went to Lowe's and you made literally lemons out of lemonade. No, what'd you do? You did something. <laughs> lemonade good. out of lemons. Ignore what I just said. You did something really good. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say it's great. This is not my prettiest welds ever, but it's definitely functional. Um, he just took this little 20, 22 gauge, was it? Piece 24 gauge. 24. 24 gauge piece of sheet metal, yep. formed it to match the body, and then I just went around very carefully and just tack, 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 tack. Um, because if you put too much heat into it, you will burn straight through it. Mm -hmm. And that's actually part of the reason this looks a little crappy is because I did burn through it in a couple places. Well, you're being mindful and it yeah. came out yeah. absolutely yeah. phenomenal though. Yeah, that's damn good, man. That's we went from crisis right. mode to, okay, we're all set now. So yeah, that's fresh sheet metal now, little, so that's good. A little grinding, a little paint, be fine. Yeah, no, you'll never still... notice. Grinding? Why grind it? It's paint, <laughs> floors. Thanks for playing. Rich is right. too busy picking out flooring colors. Yeah, I'm just like... <laughs> 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 Laughing time is over. Imitation of Rich twiddling a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. Look at you go. Look at me go. You're a real Bob Ross, you know that? Look at yeah, that. a little bit of color. It's got that white puppy cloud. Mm -hmm. It's real nice. You know, happy, tree. happy tree, happy clouds. So I removed all the stuff from the sprinter and putting it on eBay. Guess what I'm going to use? Ship station. Ship station is awesome because it literally clicks when you're managing orders, printing out. Discounted shipping labels and uh, ship station works with all the major carriers like USPS, <laughs> FedEx, and even international. You didn't wrap that one yet. Huh? You didn't wrap that one yet. You know, I can't sell that. We need that. Oh, uh, no, we'll be fine. Dude. Sorry. Right. And then you compare and choose the best shipping solution every time, and they offer big discounts on shipping costs, and you can access the same posted shipping and discounts like the major carriers like USPS, FedEx, UPS, all that good stuff. Wow. Yeah. And usually that's reserved for the Fortune 500 companies. And you could try ShipStation free for 60 days. All you gotta do is use offer code RICHREBUILD for selling whatever it is you're trying to sell. Make ship happen. And I did not come up with that pun. I know. But I wish I did. Because it's such a good one. I like your headband. Thank you. And there's a dead rabbit inside. Thank you, oh Max. Really? Not again. Uh, hey. well, that's a big old fan. Hey. Hey, a lot of uh, gas is being generated in this van, so you need a big fan for it. Some, some people fart more than others, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of yeah. those. Like... Yeah, that's the. Um... I need to evacuate the smell now. Dude, that's a that's bigger than a that's a big fan. That's, that's a fan. serious fan. Tom got to the fan that time. That that <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's a serious fan. No, nah, that's gonna be a beautiful. Yeah, so 
That's huge. It's great because yeah. it's in two parts. You know? ah. We'll cut the hole, put that on, weather strip and seal it, and then we'll screw it on top. So yeah. you're saying is we get to cut a big hole. Oh yeah, that, yeah. The, the current hole is, as you can see, it's, it's kind of cute. Mm. A little bit. I like the structure. Well, actually, let's see. Hold Wait, on. so you mean I get to cut a big hole? You get to cut a big hole. If you, I'll cut the hole. Frame well, it. whoever wants to cut the hole. I think Brian wants it. Ah, look at that. That's look perfect. At that. Hey. Ah, I'm getting dripped on. I didn't mean to pee on you. I'm not our Kelly. Sorry. Oh, okay. Now, now you did. Okay. Here we go. Stay home. What's this gasket? Look, what's, what's this up here? You know what this looks like? You know the uh, you know the grease ring in the toilet? <laughs> the, wax, you know, the wax ring? Look at that. On the inside, look at that. Actually, yeah, so the brown dirt up here really adds in compliments to that. That's gross. You, yeah, go ahead. Just tip. You, you, you got to think. Just think. Only thing shielding someone from, like, you know, anything crushing down on them is, like, oh, my God, one sixteenth of an inch worth, yeah. of, uh, worth of metal. Yep. How do you wow. feel about that? Oh, I feel fine. It's not my van. Well, you'll be living in it, so. Yeah, this is true. I will be living in it. Take that back. It's are super slippery. It's not a Working. How's it going? What do you want? Is this so, some sort of inception? It is. Oh, yeah, they are in the driver's seat. That's how, this is, this is behind the scenes. There's no more behind the scenes oh, than guys, this. Oh, guys, stop staring lovingly into each other's eyes. Drippy cock. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a bit much. I hope all that cock has a quick dry time because, uh, you know, it is snowing out. All of you love me before. Yeah. Not anymore. No, no, no. We have a really nice seal. Oh, God, there's Rich's butt crack. No one wanted to see that. What happened? You're, you, you bent over I, and. I want to show you something. Ready for this? What do you want to show me? I'm gonna paint this down. Ready? Ready? What's going Ready? on here? Oh, God. What's this? Oh. Yeah, look at that. Huh? And I'm getting some I don't think, I don't think anybody expected oh, God, this. Look at that, huh? What do you think? You like it? Are those, that's your face on your own underwear? <laughs> That damn fan. That's a big ass fan. Damn right? boy. Damn boy. Cut, where's the old fan fan? Hold on. Where's that? Uh, the fan the, fan? the little oh. janky one? Yeah. Here's, the, here, here's the upper decker. Damn boy. Look at that. Look how small that fan was before. Yeah, nobody wants that. Compare the size. Look at that. Tiny. That's they something. expected something to do. Look at that. This is awesome. Well, that was to just keep your package cool. You know, I mean, oh now it's. It's totally it's, different. It's I like it. I hate it when my package gets warm. <laughs> I want. I want another fan now. All right. Oh wait, they're expensive. Never mind. Hate up one fan. It is. <laughs> and on the truth. What do we got? Boop. Yeah. Ah, I can feel that quite nice. Yeah, it's not low. I mean, you can. It's... Yeah, that's something. I can feel the air coming Yeah, through. you can feel it circulating right through. Wow, that's nice. There we go. Ugh, oh, God. I have to talk, don't I? All right, so what we're going to do today, today's going to be another interesting day uh, in the life of uh, Steve on myself in Electrified Garage. We have to do the sound deadening. And today we're going to go with Be Quiet. Uh, they're a really, really good brand. Uh, what we have in these boxes here are the actual uh, sound deadening, but in these boxes over here, you'll see the sample of the insulation. And they're both equally as important because if you're going to be living in this van full time, like we hope Linda is, uh, sound, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> 
Yeah, sound is a big key because these things going down the road, you know, at 60, 70 miles an hour, or in our case, 65 miles an hour because we're limited. Um, thanks, FedEx. There's a, thanks, FedEx. There's a lot of road noise uh, coming out of the walls, the back door, as well as the arches. But we're actually going to do the whole van. That's what we're going to do today, and we'll see what happens. Cool. Simon, what are we doing right now, Steven? Tell All me. Right. Talk to me. Sound deadening. Nice. Well, Why do we need sound deadening? Because we don't want to be that ball inside of a rattle can. Okay. So we've set it up. We've got about 23 inches for our height for there, and we're just cutting it to the size. Making a bunch of squares and going to town. Nice. Big difference already. Yeah. Life is loud. Be quiet. Some things I do like loud, though. Yeah, Name one thing you like loud, Stephen. Mm, women. <laughs> pipes. Pipes. Loud pipes. Loud pipes save lives. Loud pipes save lives, that's baby. True. Brian, name one thing that you like that's loud. Music. Explosions. Explosions. Loud yeah. explosions. Nice. Loud concerts, man. All right. I like it. What's up? Elon's watching you. Oh, yeah. Our Lord and Savior watches over us. All Why'd us. you touch him there? Huh? Why'd you touch him there? What do you mean, him that there? Was... That's not part of him. I you... charge for it. Oh, all right. See? Come on, man. You think I'm gross or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Steven, why, why are we doing this? We didn't tell the audience what we're doing. We have to, like, assume. We have, they're assuming what we're doing here. Yeah, well, they, they, they can watch enough videos from other people doing this. Right. <laughs> well, actually, that's, that's not true because. That's true a lot of people don't insulate the floors. As you can see what we've done so far, very few people yeah. get this far when it comes to insulating a van. Usually it'll be like, you know, a couple of sheets here. They really do the roof. They, it's seriously, this is gonna be a really big deal. And they never do hair either. Another common, mis look at that. Look at that. Listen to that. Listen to that. So look, listen, and feel. Listen to that. Did we do the doors? That's none of your damn business. We'll but get anyway, there eventually. Yeah, well, <laughs> not, today. Not, not today. So, not today. So right now, we are setting up our subfloor for our subfloor, where we're going to have these tracks go in between and have our nice little pieces of thicky wicky insulation to go there. Yeah, there we so go. It's going to be great. So the floors will be insulated. Very few vans, like a lot of vans, they just kind of say, "All right, cool, let's put the carpet down so and call it a day." Or they just take whatever the subfloor was in the van. Right now, we're going to insulate the floors. We're going to do this right. Rich. Oh! Oh, which, where are your knee pads? Whoa, oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hmm. How's that feel on your knees? Feels pretty good. Oh, all right. Chad, this summer we're going to get rich swimming lessons. Who? Really? Listen, yeah. I can swim, I'm telling you. He says that. I know I can swim. We'll see. Never seen it. We'll have to use, we'll have to use the shirt. <laughs> what do you think about it? Have you ever seen rich swimming? No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. A single person. <laughs> so we'll have the Sherp and the winch ready. Invite him over for pool parties. The winch will pull me out. Yeah. Just throw it out. And, you know. Yeah. You invite him over for pool parties. He's he's never available. Yeah. For whatever oh, reason. Oh, I fucking came up, dude. So strange. I just don't like pool parties. What's the big, what's the big deal? Yeah. I don't like pool parties. What was that? Hmm. I don't know about that. Go swimming, go to the ocean, go to the lake. Nah, he's always, he can't. Or he just ate, you know. We, we hang out by a body of water, and, and he uses that half-hour rule. Something came up, dude. You know? Well, I don't have the half hour rule. I'm usually floating around in a tube with a beer in one hand, a sandwich in the other. <laughs> he's eating while he's floating. Respectfully, yeah. That's, exactly. It's kind of what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wish you had a lake. I like to follow the rules, so I don't have to. I don't do that stuff. So. You don't follow the rules. Hey, you following the rules? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a good looking ass floor, right, Brian? Very shiny. Like you're in a spaceship. Right this now. is like, this is, man. You know, Ronnie, this, this, uh, this, this scene you're looking at right now? Reminds me of that movie. Remember Flight of the Navigator? Oh, oh yes. I love that. Right? Remember good that movie? Good movie. Man, what a movie that was. And this is uh, double insulation, by the way. So there's actually two sheets of insulation in each rectangle. So this is going to be a warm ass van. And All right. Cool. That's the hope, at least. Uh, yeah, warm and cool, right? I'm just, cool. I'm, I'm just thinking now because you know it's very cold outside. But I think uh, this is going to be a very warm and cool van, and this is really going to come in handy when the heater eventually fails. 
Um, we're going to have uh, a few hours until you freeze to death, which is good. Better than no time. Exactly. Yeah. Better, better than no time. Better than dying instantly and not suffering. We have managed to uh, insulate uh, the floor of a van as well as uh, sound dead in the walls and insulate the front. Even the wheel wells sound dead name. This is going to be like a tomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a, weird, what, a, what a weird thing. Yeah. What a weird word to use. Sorry. Like a tomb. What's about to happen? <laughs> I seem to be missing a 10 millimeter wrench. Huh, weird. Wonder where that went. Wrench? Huh? Chad's missing a 10 millimeter. Oh, that's crazy. It's Again. Too bad. That's too bad. Let me, oh shoot. What are you doing? Huh? No, nothing, don't worry about it, dude. Oh, are you, you owning up to it? But... I lost it. <laughs> 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 I blew it. I freaking blew it. But dude, Chad, uh, these sets are kind of expensive here, buddy. You paid this much for them? Probably more. What the? Dude, this is $544 for this. A six-piece set. Are you surprised by this? Four sixty-two. dollars Can't afford that. Dude, you're applying for another loan? This is only my third or sixth time getting a loan. I've had outstanding credit. <laughs> It's a little extreme, isn't it? A, a full street, that's the that. <laughs> a little bit, bit much, isn't it? It likes to suck, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, it really does. <laughs> Maybe that's, if you uh, paid your bills. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's hard this time, of, this time of year, you know what I mean? Right after Christmas, well, it's February, I guess. You know, we have expenses, too. You know, we got the van, you know, I have a family. I got stuff going on, too, steve -on, you know? I got you know, I pay for insurance for the I-8. I killed my flex key. You know? That was expensive? Yeah, it was very expensive. I put it in the, in the washing machine like an idiot and just bills keep piling up, you know? So I like to use credit MRI. It's no startup fee, zero dollars to start credit repair, and I only pay if I get results. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, Steven. Never seen that before. It's a no-brainer. Never seen that. Have you? No fee guarantee ever, no. Fancy. I'm gonna try that. Well, Chad can finally get his tools. He, he still won't. What? I gotta do the flex key first. That's the most important thing. Dude. What? The I-8 key is, the most, is more important than his tools. Uh, finishing the van is more important, but... He has, he has plenty of tools, but that I-8 key is, I need to... Flexing is that's important. That's a 10 mil, that's gold. Yeah, it's true. 10 mil is that's pretty important. pretty much the most essential. Yeah, that's pretty important. But he'll get, he'll get that when I get to it. But other than that, the flex key is more important right now. So wow. Look at BMW flex keys. I flex key BMW. I don't think they call it that. <laughs> flex key BMW. That's right. You damn right. Flex key BMW, baby. Wow. Flex key. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Staying corrected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That way. Uh, would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Hey, oh. I have feet. <laughs> yeah, right. Yay, we did it. Yeah. Good thing we got the high top. If we didn't have the high top, we'd be oh, yeah. awkward. Yeah. Total. Sorry. Mm -mm. So wait, what, where's the, the low top is, what, yeah, here? Not there. Oh, I mean, you can see. Yeah, you can see where it's the that low? Is, yeah. Get out. Well, how much, you know, it's not, much time it's still got a bit of an arch. Yeah, I don't, I don't spend much time in the back of vans, no. But this, this, <laughs> this is amazing. It's, it's really this low for a yeah. van, a regular van? Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey, you know what they say? Van life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that episode. We got a lot done. The van is sound deadened. We have a fan. The subfloor is done. And we took care of all the rust in the van. And yes, I painted both sides, inside and out, with the rust preventative paint so it doesn't happen again. All for the low price of like eight bucks. Next episode, we're going to focus on the walls and install these massive residential solar panels 
for massive power. Don't forget to check me on Instagram at Richie B Kid, and I will see you all soon.